Hello everyone, Films of Ben C here with an awesome, you know what I'm going to do here. So this is aluminum foil, and I'm about to make, for example, a place you saw, and I'm about to make it out of, of course, aluminum foil, and... I'm about to take out the sheets. Watch out for the blade here. The blade. Be careful with your fingers. Take out the sheet. This is the sheet with the little foil. And take out the sheet. It has to be this long. No matter how... It depends on how big your pleasure is going to be. And take out the sheet. And do this with the blade under here. And you do this. Take your hands on both sides of the sheets and bend. Bend. Actually, you put your hands on this the top of the sheet with your hands left hand on so on the same spot and bend the the sheet and you squeeze the the this part of the sheet in here. See what I'm doing here? And then you, <clears throat> or head lunch. That's not important. And then, and then you um, uh, squeeze this part of the, um, of the aluminum foil here because you're about to um, make, a, make a head right here, see? And then squeeze this part of the um, um, aluminum foil because you're also making the top part of the head. And then you made the head. See? Looks like a pterodactyl, actually. And then perhaps more of the head. You can see it that well. I don't know if my hands are obscuring it that much. But here's the head. And then you made the whole head. I don't know if this video is, is detailing very well because of my hands. But here's what you can do, though. You do some more of the head by doing by doing this with the with the moon foil. You can make the flippers by doing this. Perhaps you make your hand like this. Now I'm gonna now be aware. A little foil creature making is not easy because sometimes these parts right here, some of these parts can be very sharp. Since these um little foil creatures can basically poke you with some of the sharpiness of these um see this right here? This part of, you can actually poke you with with its um, paper cutty like this. I don't know if it really, I've described that very well, but I hope you can understand what I'm saying, but what, what, what would you best do is um, you make a flipper like this by flattening the foil and uh, like, like that and uh, bending some of the foil on the side you can see it, and then the same on the other side. Bend the loom foil like this and join again, like that, and, and make sure you bend this part right here, and do that. Bend that part of the loom foil, and uh. Then the edges of the foil like that when it sticks out, and the rest can be done like this. Crush the um, edge of the um, edge of the stomach, it creates a stomach actually, and then for the other fins, do this: pinch the um, pinch a part of the loom foil and create this. Create this part of the foil, create a tiny little stub like that. And then finally, another stub, if you can see one, or you can just create one like pinching more loom foil, like that. And for the tail, if you got any more loom foil left, or in my case, you can start over, or you can just create more loom foil, and I'll probably show you that in a sec. And uh, then you can create the tail like that. Now, for my policy sort it looks kind of lousy a little bit. Or you need to keep it the same, or you just create, create more stuff like that. No, I think it looks pretty fine, actually. Except it looks like a miniature at the bottom, but more 
bigger at the top, or you want to look might look look better than actually kind of looks look, looks like. You may look smaller by doing this, crushing much of it, like I'm doing right now. And uh, also thanks to the, I don't know if I said this yet, but thanks to the provider that um that helps me um get the aluminum foil because it really helps with my with my um, uh, video. This is also for them to you know how to make aluminum foil creatures. And um, I'll provide an example of how to make a bigger aluminum foil creature. It depends on how you can do it. Um, so here's um. This is me making it smaller so you can look like an actual size, honestly. So this is, um, this is just me making it smaller. And here we are. hope this looks accurate to the actual plesiosaur. Are you called Nessie? My own version of Nessie. Now we're going to talk about, um, Putting, making it look bigger. Now I'm gonna put another part of this. You remember the blades right here. If you don't know how to do that, then take a look at what I'm doing. Just be careful what I'm doing. I'm not doing the safest thing by by putting my hand on the blade. Just don't do that. And uh, I'm also not careful. My just be careful yourself. And uh, there, do that. And uh, and how you make it bigger looking? And uh, just do this. Put the shape. Um, put the um, um, put put the um, sheets on the um, on on here like this on on the bottom part, and then cover it up and find more aluminum foil and cover it up like this. Pinch it and uh, hope this is very described because I don't know if I described it very before and. Um, and uh, pinch more of the other side, and then make the tail. If you have more than foil on the back, you probably. Sh I'm pretty sure I do. Make the tail. Make the tail appear more, and there you have it. I wish it looks better than before. Actually, wow, it actually does. Oh my goodness! All right. I'll keep this actually. Wow. Can't believe it. It actually looks better than before. Alright then. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I don't know if I described it very well, but hope you um, enjoyed. I think I'm going to keep this. I see the jaw opens up very well. Nyeh, nyeh, nyeh. <laughs> It's a giraffe. <laughs> okay, that's enough.